Shea Butter Baby by Ari Lennox. Ari Lennox got noticed by posting her music online starting back in 2012. She worked with Dreamville artist Omen, which caught the ear of J. Cole. They started working on references for Rihanna before Cole decided to sign her to Dreamville. She was inspired by artists like Ella Fitzgerald, Erica Badu, Whitney Houston, and Aaliyah, to name a few. On the verge of her first headlining tour, how's the album? Here's our honest review of Shea Butter Baby by Ari Lennox. Ari Lennox. Yeah, man. Shea Butter Baby. Yeah, man. Uh, We did, foe. We did? Did we? I, mean, I listened I w- to it. I listened to it, but it's like I, I remember hearing it, but I don't know if we did it on the podcast. Oh, y'all slipping. <laughs> and we y'all do man, yeah, we do so many so album reviews, bad. it's kind of hard to keep yeah. track. I know I heard it, though. I yeah, heard Fo. I've heard. That's how I fell in love with her. I mean, we've, we've, yeah, we've been listening to her for a while. Well, she's she was always on been Return with, of the Dreamers. Exactly, uh, so that's how I always back know seat, That mm-hmm. backseat was fire. Yeah. Uh, how y'all feel about this album artwork? Yo, I feel like this is like the perfect Make way. sure you say it's sexy or else there is going to kill you. It's the perfect sexy <laughs> album cover to describe this whole album. I mean... I don't know why. It's just when you look at it, I'm like, yeah, that's a shea butter album. <laughs> I mean, I, that's, that's all I can say. Cause it's like they put shea butter on her legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mad but, shea butter. <laughs> but I, I like the color tones. It's perfect, and I just like the whole her outfit and whatever she's laying on. It's great. Yeah, I definitely have to agree. I love the softness of the colors. It's just because when you think of shea butter and when you think of her, um, you get like a a. a I don't know. She just is definitely sexy. I love what they have her in. I wasn't too sure about like the the little pose with the cigarette look or whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, cause she, I don't think she does. She smoke? I don't think so. Yeah. I'm not I think sure. She may smoke weed. Oh well, there you go. Okay. Well, listen. Yeah. Well, she just yeah. In the song, she said, "I've been and smoking I love that she purple haze." While thinking about you, women like curves and and pudges, but still got this sexy like. Yes, I'm a, like I love it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I like I like Ari Lennox's whole style. Like, if you listen to her talk, like she's her whole thing is like she doesn't even like to straighten her hair out. She's like she likes to look like her. You know, she wants yes. other people to feel comfortable looking like themselves. Yeah. So she likes to look like herself. So she always keeps it curly. Uh, she said she feels weird sometimes, so she may have to put heels on and stuff like that. And I get that. You know, I see that's like just her comfort zone yeah. and like doing artsy, artsy type things where like, you know, like you look at like Rihanna and her, but their music is somewhat similar in topic, but their whole images are completely, you know, different. Because hmm. like, Rihanna just don't she don't give a fuck not put, only is yeah, she just her Rihanna in my head I, I, Rihanna never hit my head when I came when I thought of Ari Lennox oh no I'm just talking about like uh I just use her to you know just show like the difference yeah. in like being yourself okay. it's like yeah Rihanna okay. is herself but oh, at yeah, the same yeah. time she don't give a fuck she'll go out here butt ass naked and okay. won't think twice about it Ari Lennox on the other hand is just like well I think I, was, I think it's a sweatpants day you know I ain't doing my hair I ain't putting on makeup oh well what do you think about the fact that a lot of people on Twitter are saying she's the uh, like next Erica Badu? I think that is very accurate in tone. Like the way her voice sounds as she's singing it, mm-hmm. it sounds very Erica X esque. And that was exactly what I was going to say about the flow of this project. It reminded me of like an Erica Badu esque style of singing. Mm. Like the way she holds her notes and says and pronounces some of the words. Because when you listen yeah. to her talk, she doesn't talk like that per se. No. But she sings like that. And that was what was crazy because I watched her um Lip on, service. Yeah. I knew it. And I, I knew was, it. <laughs> I knew it. How did I know? <laughs> I was waiting for some like some really like tea to drop. But if, to find out she hasn't really done too much. See, even your wife agrees. To find out she hasn't even done too much. Um I couldn't figure that out from listening to the album. I, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I, but to listen to her on lip service, I was like, "Come on, girlfriend, give us some kind of. I need some kind of story because she just sound like she, yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know I mean, and <laughs> maybe she just yeah. got that natural element to her because that's what I liked about the whole album. Like it just felt like something, like a natural vibe. Like you know how you get an artist that's trying to make you feel something. Mm-hmm. I feel like this was just all natural and organic all the way through all the 12 tracks like i just yeah, felt like yeah, it yeah. was just a smooth ride it just man yeah it's just a real smooth vibe highlights man look uh chicago boy is a dope way to open up the album i like that a lot yeah. uh um break me off bmo i actually it wasn't a uh way to open up the album. huh 
It wasn't a good way to open up the album. Uh-oh. I disagree. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, Uh-oh. BMO. I like BMO because uh, it actually samples the same song Busta Rhymes sampled for Wuha I Got You All In Check. Mm-hmm. It, I thought it sounded uh, really dope. Definitely. Up Late is a very dope. Uh, Masego Shout out, out on to the Masego. beat. That joint was crazy. I really like the singing on it. Yeah. Uh, there is something I don't like about that song, but I'll talk about that. Uh, New Apartment. I love the song. I love the idea, the concept. I love the way she's singing it, and I love the realization she came to at the end on the skits. The skits on this joint are very amazing. Yeah. And uh, I've been... I love the way she's singing on I've Been. Yeah, man. Uh, BMO is hard. Uh, Chicago Boy. I feel I feel like it was a great way to start the album. <laughs> I, 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 from the moment it, it started. That one. It's okay. From the moment it started, I, w- I was in it. Like I caught the vibe immediately. Mm. Uh, broke. I don't know what it is about that. The whole vibe of it. Like, man, just the I've been broke. Like, I, it's just a dope vibe, man. Uh, up late, shout out to my man Masego. I swear he's he killing it out here with all the features he's been doing and all the work. Shout out, I'm a big Masego fan, so I was I was I was happy to hear that. Uh, Shea Butter Baby is a classic to me, man. Like I remember when we first heard it, I'm just like, man, this oh, is oh gosh, right? This is just something. Like I don't know what it is. It's just it. Um, new apartment, that should go so hard. I mean, it's just the feeling. Like I I kind of felt like I was That's watching what you the did scene. When you got your new apartment. I mean, I think everybody does something along the lines of that when they get a new apartment. But I like it was just so vivid. Everything like I, I like how she said she got a Dollar Tree wine glass yeah. in the air and everything like that. I was, I I was like, I, I feel that. that. And um, FaceTime, I love the production on that. I thought it was dope. I Ben is dope. Whipped cream is dope. And yeah, I almost like you know this whole damn album. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with BMO. BMO was definitely a really hot song. Mm-hmm. Um, I. Listen, we ain't talking about what I don't like. So let me just give you my highlights. Okay. So BMO was my highlight. Mm-hmm. Um, Pop. Pop was dope. You already knew I was going to like <laughs> Pop was definitely like, yes, honey. Yes. <laughs> I even wrote that on my notes. Like, yes. <laughs> she did that. I was sitting there like, I need to find somebody to pop <laughs> this pussy to. Yes. Um, and then, uh, what is it? Uh, let me go back to my notes. Your phone keep falling asleep. Yeah, man. I keep going to... Um, broke 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 was dope it gave me the idea that somebody just like sitting there was sh- just chief in a way like just smoking yeah. some weed and just listening to broke like man fuck this shit. yeah like, yeah you're right <laughs> um but it definitely gave me a chief and kind of feel actually the whole album gave me like a just laid back kind of like everybody getting high type shit or having some good dope conversation who knows yeah um and then i will say whipped cream whipped cream shea butter too shea butter just gave whenever i hear shea butter i think now i think of creed too um because you know they played that in the movie and even in the movie theater i was like singing it singing along with it because i had already you know listened to it so it's like anyway i love shea butter but whipped cream whipped cream Yes. I like the idea of that song, by the way. The song is dope. You like the idea of it? What you mean yeah, by that? Like how she's singing about how, like, you know, there's that whole thing about when women break up and they get depressed, they sit on the couch and eat ice cream and whipped yeah. cream. So, like, she gave you a visual for it. Yeah. You know, I can actually see everything she was talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, low lights for this joint, man. Uh, Static to me, is, I didn't like, like that song at all. Like, not one really? single bit. I thought it was bad. No, no, I thought it shouldn't have been on the album at all. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry. Huh? I, I didn't like it. That's how I felt uh, about Nana. And uh, <laughs> and uh, something even as beautiful as this album sounds, I just don't feel it at all. Like, damn, I'm, so, I'm he's sorry. Still, he, he went right from one song to the whole album. No, I'm not saying like I think the songs are not bad. Like when I was listening to it, I, I feel like there's things about okay, like up late. I don't really like the way she's singing the lyrics what about per se, FaceTime? but I like the song. FaceTime is cool. FaceTime was dope. Yeah. Uh, there's another song up here I wanted to bring up because she was singing how Aaliyah sung uh, um, one of her songs. Like, it, it almost sounds like an ode to Aaliyah. I feel like it was Break uh, Me Off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, More Than a Woman. When you listen to BMO, if you listen to how she's singing the first verse, it sounds like uh, More Than a Woman. Aaliyah. Okay. Like, Cupid's got me, heartbeats, yeah. racing. Yeah. Like, she's singing the same kind of melody. Uh, but it's just something about this album. Like, 
this isn't really my style of like R&B that I would go to. You know what I'm saying? But like, I don't think it's R&B and I think that's what you're like It's like soul. It's soul. Yeah. It's like yeah. soul and I've never been a huge, huge, as much as I like R&B, I've never been huge on soul. Like I was talking to her, I own like four Erica Badu albums. I only like probably like 10 Erica Badu songs, period, like total. Like I think I, I named seven or eight maybe. I can't even remember. But, and then like, Aside from her, I like Music Soul Child. I didn't like Floor Tree when they came out, but I love Marsha and Brocia by herself. Okay. Like, it's like my lane, lane of soul music. This fits in that lane partially. Like, it's got like a toe in and the rest of the foot out, if you get what I'm saying. So, I think the songs are good. I think this is for somebody else. It's not necessarily for me, per se. Well, I don't have any low lights, honestly. You don't um, have any low lights? I don't have any because I, I just feel like this album was like great from start to finish. Like, I, I can't really find anything to say that, like, oh, this could have been better. I just thought this was a complete really? project. Okay. Yeah. If you say so. I think I'm really shocked that you have no low lights. I have, <laughs> I have a couple of low lights. Um, I definitely. Um, well, I wouldn't say definitely agree with him with Static, but Static was my least favorite on the album. Chica I can agree Chicago with that. Boy definitely shouldn't have started off with Chicago Boy. I thought it was hilarious Why? that she went to Listen, the store to get Ricola, though. Chicago Boy, first of all, just didn't do it for me, period. Okay. Like, I wasn't feeling it at all. I won't say the, the whole album, though, like, for you to just, like, say the whole album was whack, like, nah, I didn't come say on, it was son. whack. See, y'all, you putting words in my mouth. <laughs> you said <laughs> I, I, wasn't I, said I wasn't feeling the feeling. album at all. No, like, it's just that type of soul music that, like it doesn't resonate with me facetime okay. was definitely dope but anywho dope. back to my low lights my low lights um was just those two yeah chicago boy and static again oh. the start with with sierra it was the start and the ending was dope with this one i think the start and the ending was just kind of whack to me and um i wasn't really feeling it at all but the rest of the album oh sit back and talk to me over some music like this that's what i got from it like you like r&b this that and the other but for me i could put this on you come in for what they call a little nightcap mm. let's make some coffee let's pour some wine well you're gonna let's... be getting to it pretty quick i mean break me off is number two yeah what was the uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh the quickest um it was a quick one on here was it was it um, i've pop, been pop pop, pop, is pop the was the quickest quick. one it was like yeah. two minutes in something seconds yeah. seconds. Oh, and facetime that yeah, was pop was but pop had me like yes by the time pop came on, I would have been popping something. We would have been popping something for real. So definitely. Final thoughts, man. Look, I think this is like some slow wine, drinking with some, you know, nice young lady, nice young male type music. Uh, the soul music, I don't feel like it's necessarily this vibe. It's, it's just not my lane. I don't hate it. I don't know how often I'll come back to listen to this per se. Like I said, it's just not it's just not my vibe. Well, for me, I know that I, I I love this type of music just because of how it just goes one on one with the production and everything like that. Because I just like how her voice blends with the production and the production is laid back Boom. and chill to it and everything like that. So that's what I really gravitate towards it. And I just love it because I feel like even though she does remind you of Erica Baidu, she's still kind of in her own lane because you yeah. don't really hear nobody singing like this. Well, that's what I was thinking when I heard Twitter say that. When I seen that Twitter say, was yeah. saying that they remind, she reminds them of Erica Baidu. Yeah, so shout out to uh, Ari Lennox, man. And like I said, I think that this album definitely has the right type of I'm in love or at least I'm trying to get to be in love type of flow. Yeah. And that's what I love about it. It's really like a whole let me seduce you with my conversation behind this dope track type of music. Okay. Like, it's, it's really some dope track. Like, I remember we were sitting there talking, I was getting to know you, and Ari Lennox was playing in the background. Yeah. Like, that was yeah. what I got from the whole album. So, Dame can go suck on a blow pop. <laughs> a dark blue one. Pause, all of that. <laughs> Final grade, man. Look, uh, for what it's worth, I don't feel like this is for me, but I'm still going to give it a check because I still feel like this music, like I'm pretty sure I could put this on for somebody else and they rock with it. I just, it's, I like some of the songs like Shea Butter Baby, Come On, I'm a Rock With It, Bro, BMO, uh, you know, Up Late, Chicago, like that's the first six songs. Yeah. I mean, uh, and even Speak To Me, like I like the way it's sung. It's just not necessarily for me. And I prefer uh, women R&B over male R&B. So don't come for me with that. You don't, you hate women shit. They're coming for you already. Yeah, you are. But I'm just saying, this joint just didn't, it just didn't fit my vibe. 
But I do feel like she sings a hundred times better than Sierra does. No shade to Sierra. I like Sierra. I'm going to give this a check, man. Um, I've been with the Dreamville camp for the longest. So to see how much she has grown as an artist and just being, you know, here on her solo projects and then their features and everything like that, just to see her create something like this, like just comes off to a fan and just a personal father of the camp. So shouts out to Ari Lennox. This is a dope project. Keep going this lane. I heard she sold out all her shows not all her shows but like uh, for one of her shows she was just so amazed she tweeted about like oh it's sold out in such and such time so to see her doing stuff like that and people gravitating towards her i know that's a great feeling for her so shout out to her yeah definitely shout out to her um to see her here i'm I'm quite sure to hear your music played in any kind of movie that's gonna be like big nationwide is a big thing anyway but this i'm gonna have to give this album a check i'll get this album a check and I agree with Dane. Vocals is definitely better than Ciara um, on any kind of level. Better she, than Tink, too. <laughs> it's a whole nother time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then um, I get the I get the um, Erica Badu reference, but I do feel like she's in a whole different lane than Erica Badu for the now generation, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, Erica Badu is for us. And she is yeah. definitely, she's for the now, even though we can rock with her, too, but she's for the now. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I mean? For sure. So... I loved it. 